following motion, which is the establishment of a special committee to investigate the proposed removal from office by way of impeachment of His Excellency Rigadi Gashagwa, EGH, the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya. That were as pursuant to standing to Article 151B and 2 and Article 145 of the Constitution and the National Assembly Standing Orders Number 64 and 65. On the 8th of October 2024, the National Assembly approved a special motion for the removal from office by impeachment of H.E. Regadi Gashagwa, E.G.H., Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, and further whereas by letter reference NADLP TBO MTS 2024 uh, 025, dated 8th of October 2024, and received in the office of the Speaker of the Senate on the 9th of October 2024. The Speaker of the National Assembly informed the Speaker of the Senate of the approval of the special motion by the National Assembly and further forwarded to the Speaker of the Senate documents in evidence of the proceedings of the National uh, Assembly. And whereas pursuant to Article 145.3b of the Constitution, as read together with Article 152 of the Constitution and Standing Orders, 78.1 and 79 of the Senate Standing Orders, the Senate may by resolution appoint a special committee comprising 11 of its members to investigate the matter. Now, therefore, pursuant to Article 145.3b, the Constitution of the Constitution as read together with Article 152 of the Constitution and the Standing Orders of the S Senate Standing uh, Orders, the Senate resolves to co constitute a special committee to investigate the proposal, proposed removal from office by impeachment of H.E. Rigadi Gashagwa, E.G.H., Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya. I thank you, Mr. Speaker. Next order. Order number eight, motion, establishment of a special committee to investigate the proposed removal from office by impeachment of His Excellency Rigadi Gachagua, EGH, the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya. Majority Leader. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, there's a motion on the, I beg to move the following motion, the establishment of a special committee to investigate the proposed removal from office by impeachment of H.E. Rigadi Gashagwa, E.G.H., Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya. That were raised pursuant to Article 151B and 2, Article 145 of the Constitution and the National Assembly Standing Orders, uh, 64 and 65, on 8th of October 2024, the National Assembly approved a special motion for the removal from office by impeachment of His Excellency Rigadi Gashagwa, EGH, the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya. And further, whereas by letter reference NADLP, stock TBO, stock MTS, 2024, uh, uh, 025, dated 8 of October 2024, received in the office of the Speaker of the Senate on the 9th of October 2024, the Speaker of the National Assembly informed the Speaker of the Senate of the approval of the special motion by the National Assembly and further forwarded to the Speaker of the Senate documents in evidence of the proceedings of the National Assembly. And whereas pursuant to Article 145.3b of the Constitution, as read together with Article 152 of the Constitution and Standing Order 78.1 and 79 of the Senate Standing Orders, the Senate may, by resolution, appoint a special committee comprising of 11 of its members to investigate the matter. Now, therefore, pursuant to Article 145.3b of the Constitution, as read together with Article 152 of the Constitution uh, and Standing Order, uh, 78 one of the Senate standing orders, the Senate resolves to constitute a special committee to investigate the proposed removal from office by impeachment of His Excellency Rigadi Gashagwa, EGH, Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya. Mr. Speaker, this is uncharted territory. 
for the first time the Senate of the Republic of Kenya is being invited uh, to conduct an impeachment hearing of uh, a deputy president. Uh, much as this is constitutional, Mr. Speaker, it's the first time that this is happening. And uh, there is a proposal before us as a House, as per our standing orders, to either consider this matter. Uh, we have two options as per our standing orders to either consider this matter by a special committee or the plenary. Uh, the motion before us, Mr. Speaker, is a proposal to the House that we select 11 of our members from both sides of the House to consider this impeachment and uh, advise us, uh, Mr. Speaker. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, uh, I don't know what uh, is the excitement in the House. I have said already that uh, this has never happened before, but uh, that's the proposal uh, that should we, and I want to urge members to agree with me, that we elect 11 of our wisest and most trusted <laughs> senators, uh, Mr. Speaker, who we think have the sufficient wisdom eh, to read on our behalf make a decision, and as you know, as power standing orders, Mr. Speaker, should they elect that the matters have not been substantiated, the matter dies, and there is no recourse for the House. However, should they uh, confirm any of the 11 charges, even one, uh, Mr. Speaker, then they will invite the rest of us uh, to join them in making a decision. Therefore, Mr. Speaker, with those very many remarks, uh, this is not a matter that uh, I want to speak long to because there's more serious uh, matters that lay ahead with regards to this particular motion, uh, Mr. Speaker. With those very many remarks, I want to invite the Senator for Nairobi, Senator Edwin Watenya Sifuna, to second this motion. I thank you, Honorable Speaker, as you have indicated in your communication, indeed this is a matter that is extremely unique, that has elicited immense public in, in attention, and therefore, Honorable Speaker, given the mood of, of the House and especially on the minority side, I respectfully decline to second that motion. Now, Senator... Oburu. Order, Honorable Senators, you will note that the Senate Majority Leader has moved a motion pursuant to Articles 145.3b of the Constitution and Standing Order 78.1 for the establishment of a special committee to investigate the proposed removal from office by impeachment of His Excellency Rigathi Gashagwa EGH, Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya. The motion has, however, failed to get a second. Now, Standing Order 70 of the Senate Standing Orders states as follows. The question on any motion shall not be proposed unless it shall have been seconded, and any motion that is not seconded shall be deemed to have been withdrawn and shall not be moved again in the same session unless with the permission of the Speaker. Honorable Senators, as I communicated earlier today during the sitting, by way of a message on the resolution of the National Assembly, Article 145.3b of the Constitution, as read together with Article 78.1, provides that the Senate, by resolution, may appoint a special committee comprising 11 of its members to investigate the matter. The motion having been deemed to be withdrawn, pursuant to Standing Order 71, the proposal for a special committee is defeated. The Senate will therefore proceed with the investigation of the proposed removal from office by impeachment of His Excellency Rigathi Gashagwa EGH, the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, in plenary. Honorable Senators, in line with the schedule of activities for an impeachment hearing in plenary, I hereby give the following directions. A. 
the clerk to issue invitations to appear to the Deputy President today, Wednesday the 9th of October 2024. B, the clerk to issue invi uh, invitations to appear to the National Assembly today, Wednesday the 9th of October 2024. The parties to file the responses within the, with the office of the clerk of the Senate by Monday the 14th of October 2024 by 5 p.m. D, the clerk to circulate documents received from the parties, including the plenary hearing program, to all honorable senators upon receipt on Monday, 14th of October, 2024. And the Senate shall then investigate the matter in plenary on Wednesday, the 16th, and Thursday, the 17th of October, 2024. The Senate is accordingly guided. Thank you. Any clarification, Senator Fernandi? Mr. Speaker, uh, looking at the directions that we are given, I want to agree with the Senate Majority Leader that this matter is very unique. It is uncharted territory. We are so used to impeachment uh, of governors as we have done before. Mr. Speaker, when you look at our understanding order 78 on Senate standing orders, and also, uh, Mr. Speaker, I needed your guidance and clarity on the process, because looking at standing order 78 on the removal procedure for removal from state office, which includes the removal of the president, deputy president or state office, Mr. Speaker, I want to invite uh, Mr. Speaker, to request when you read under, sorry, Mr. Speaker, I'm trying to get sh second schedule of our standing orders, part one, rules of procedure when considering removal in plenary, either the president or the deputy president. When you look at n rule number 12, subject to these rules, the hearing of the evidence, once it commenced, shall proceed and continue on until the senator the Senate concludes the hearing of the matter. So, Speaker, this extrapolates itself from uh, Article 145, 150, in the removal of either the President or the Deputy President, considering this uh, a matter of national interest, and it will involve a lot of process, evidence producing, and many other procedures. So, Speaker, considering the immense, would it be in order to request that, as per your direction, you increase even an extra day. You know, Mr. Speaker, they say justice should not be seen, should not only be seen, but to be seen to be done. Oh, okay, Mr. Speaker. Order, Honorable <laughs> Senator. Mr. Order. Speaker, I'm happy. Let the Senator Fernandi say it the way he understands it. Yes. Proceed. Uh, and Mr. Speaker, I am directly translating from my challenge in mind, so members will have to bear with me. Mr. Speaker, justice should not only be done, but should be seen to be done, Mr. Speaker. You know, we went to group of schools, some of us. Mr. Speaker, the point I wanted to make is that since the plenary process will, ex will allow Kenyans to follow, would it be in order whether we convict or acquit? Because the law house, which was pretrial chamber, and this is the real trial chamber, Mr. Speaker, where we shall be looking and setting precedent for future impeachment. I'm not predicting that there will be impeachment of president or deputy presidents in future, but Mr. Speaker, the point I wanted to make, and I don't know why Senator Sifuna is irritated. You'll have your time. Why are you worried? Mr. Speaker, that is what I, I want to conclude by saying, Mr. Speaker, just add an extra day so that the accusers which is the National Assembly, can have elaborate time to present their case, and also the Deputy President can have the time to present their case. Say so that, Mr. Speaker, when they move to another fora, they will have opportunity of not, uh, of having the opportunity of being given a chance in the principles of natural justice. I thank you, Mr. Speaker, and thank you for that indulgence, and I will probably be guided. Thank you.